Hi everyone, welcome to Entertainment Industry Scoop without wasting any time before the tea libanda. Let's get to the tea. So yesterday I watched Promise Makunyane's interview whereby she was interviewing Owami's ex-husband, Big Guy. His real name is Nkantla Shongwane. He has a degree in which he majored in computer science and statistics. He's currently in free state and he has businesses in logistics and livestock. Okay. And I have to actually give it to Upromis Makunyane because I thought Oguti this interview was going to be messy. All right. Was going to be messy, but the opposite actually happened. They were both professional. And let me just give you guys the backdrop of a relationship with Owami and Pitai. They met in Pretoria and met Dunsa. They were both doing their own degrees along the way. Unfortunately, Owami got academically excluded as she was failing for two years straight. And this was due to her having to have lost Umawaki. Okay. And Ukai was actually a late bloomer he broke his virginity to Uowami at the age of 21 and again looking at ee background or e upbringing that Uwami, Uwami comes from a, a polygamous setting kind of family okay and mind you umam kuru ka Uwami, who happens to be the older sister kamara Uwami was actually the first wife kababaka owami so these two sisters they got married to the same man already you can see the disaster setting okay that setting was a disaster from the word go so you can actually ask yourself upbringing owami in what way did it actually damage owami okay so they did if i said in campus and financially they were set because Oami was getting 5.5 stipend and ukai was actually an it assistant in which he was getting 2.5 so combined they were getting about 8k a month and in which um Oami ended up buying Ikea Picanto. So a campaign was cut, guys. Ukai got at his degree, got a job, rented a place in Bilo Beinga. As time went by, they had to now look for a bigger place because they had to take in Oami's little sister after she had fell pregnant. Okay. And Guavane event. Guavane event whereby there was a best friend of Oami who happens to be a medical student. The girl pulled Ukai to the side and actually asked him as to how are you coping with the situation because i cannot imagine you taking off Oami financially taking care of Oami financially you taking care of the little sister financially now there's a new baby that is about to come okay so now they were a family of four and mind you by the time Oami was not yet married to this guy so it was just a boyfriend taking care of the girlfriend and the family member yaka girlfriend okay like i mentioned guys Uguti, at this point they were not lobolad or married okay so the general public Iyazi Uguti Uoami actually paid for her own lobola and the guy clarified the whole situation Uguti, I think actually there was a point whereby I had 34k and I was like you know what with this cash I am going to lobola her then Umuke changed the whole plan and was like you know instead of you Uguti um lobole mai how about we use that cash to actually buy isn't as a short dial Anything, okay and then when it comes to the lobola money we will both save the money and then gena uhambe uyong lobola and again when it comes to the idea of e-gambling there was a point whereby owami spoke about how mugai gambled their car and ukai yet again clarified the situation uguti the girl was actually aware of the fact that uguti nyotengisa imoto because of I want to trade in a certain amount of cash and then from that trade Gizobu Yelwa 100k and he got into this agreement with his friend in which unfortunately Basale Bajiwa Leyo Mali Leyo okay so Bajiwa Imali Bajiwa Nemoto and Ukai uh, also said that Uti he believes that they are spies because how is it possible Uti he's been separated from Uowami 
but every time whenever he starts a certain business oami runs to youtube talks about him and talks about what he does so u promise makunyane wambuzu kuti why did you cheat and guys oami has said it over and over and over again ukuthi yena she does not tolerate cheating of any kind so u guy what i cheated because oami now kept on questioning my work ethic i was constantly compared to ukuthi ubani unani and why can't i do the same secondly he cheated because owami came across as someone who had already emotionally checked out of the marriage thirdly he cheated because he also wanted out and eventually they went their separate ways in my opinion guys these two they allowed their past traumas to spill within their marriage they did not protect each other but rather allowed a pain ya dala ukuthi ipoisone umshado wabo secondly clash of personalities u guy u slow vele and u owami has said it over and over again ukuthi mu guy is slow it could be she was now bored okay she wanted someone who's vibrant just like her and owami on the other hand she is a vibrant like i said thirdly clash of goals mani bangani mantandana obviously goals are going to be similar and then as time goes by that's when you realize with i man i remember i said i want to run ispaza shop actually now i want to own a mall yeah well and i think the financial goal yeah well, was not on the same path Owami wanted you know money big this big that she wanted success to the core the same thing with Upi guy because he still remember Mamela Utize he also loves money he also loves hustling but it could be he hustling yabo I find Owami wants to be financial set for the longest of time and then if financial goal gamu guy it's for them to keep on going ukuthi bangalali bangadlanga so that is my opinion so please do make sure that you get to comment down below like share and subscribe until next time love you